Hi, I'm now going to talk you through the invite process via the Connect mobile app. Here you can see the screen that you are welcomed with when you first install the application and open it. As you can see, it states that because you haven't opened the application using an invite link or QR code, you need to ask for that or retrieve it from your email client. So here we have something equivalent to the email that you will invite that you will receive when you're invited to use the application. And in here we have both a link and a QR code. As I'm viewing this on the screen of the device, the mobile phone that I'm going to use, I click the link. If I was viewing this email on a mobile on a desktop device or any other screen, I would open the camera and scan the QR code. Both would result in the same prompt. Open in Connect Placement Manager. This is similar on iOS devices and Android. So here I'm going to choose to open. As you can see, this returns us to the Connect app, but on this occasion it's now saying welcome and asking us for a PIN. So here I'm going to select a PIN and confirm it. It then asks us, after we've successfully entered a PIN, for any health information. So this is my personal health information and this is used across any, pro pro uh, any placements that I choose to create. Once saved, I'm then returned to my home page. Here you can see a summary of my information and some navigation links. At this point, I'm going to select my industry interests. I can choose between one and eight industry interests. Once I've chosen those, I confirm that and I can immediately see them on my summary page. It's important that industry interests are ordered with the most important or relevant at the top of this list. So as you can see, I can now choose to pick one up and move it to a higher position in the list. That's immediately saved and will be available within the web part of Connect when viewing it within a browser as a member of staff. I can go back in and change my industry interest at any point. The ordering is retained but the new interests or previous interests are updated. At the bottom of the screen I've then got three choices. I can view my placements in the placement manager, I can create a new placement or I can search employers. Now if I'm looking for a placement, search employers is a great place to start. Here I can enter a location or another piece of information that will allow me to filter organizations within the Connect system that might be relevant for me. Here it gives me a quick summary of the name of the organization, the location, and a quick link to telephone the organization. This would allow me to call them up, ask them if the placement is available on the dates that are relevant. I can also filter by industries in the same way that I've selected in my industry interests. Once I think I'm ready to create a placement, I can choose the Create Placement option. And here I can see Recommended Employers. I can filter down to those employers that I want to look through. I can make phone calls to those employers to confirm they have an available placement. And once I'm happy, I can confirm a placement. The second option here is to create a new employer. So if I found an employer myself, and they're not listed within Connect at this time, I can choose to submit those details and then when, verified, when being verified within the Connect web app, they may become an organization that other people can see within the application. So here, I'm going to choose Abbott Community Primary School. And as you can see, the employer is immediately listed at Abbott Community Primary School. I can confirm full details, but because they're an existing organization, I can't make any changes. The second part here is a role description, start date, and an end date. 
So here I'm going to be a teaching assistant. I'm going to start on the 10th of September and I'll be finishing on the 20th. So we confirm those dates. We then asked what our hours will be on most days of our placement. So here we've got nine to five, but as I'm gonna be working at school, I know it's gonna be nine till four. I won't be working split shifts, although I can choose that option to put in two sets of times per day. The next screen confirms which days I'll be working. So the default in here is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on the weekdays with Saturday and Sunday disabled. But for me, I'm not going to be working on Thursdays or Wednesdays. I can also change the times that I previously submitted to be different for each weekday. And again, I can choose to split shifts on some days of the week. The next screen is a confirm screen. So here I'm shown the months in which I'm working. If my placement crossed between months, I would see September and October headings. And then within each month, I see the days that I'll be working. So here I know I'm working Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, between the 10th and the 20th of September. And on the right hand side, I can see the hours that I have submitted that I'll be working. Each of those days then offers me the opportunity to update the time if I've got it incorrect on the previous page, or if a time is specific for a single day in my placement, I can change those hours. Once I've confirmed the placement, it shows in the web application to be verified by a member of staff. Additionally, it shows within the placement list within the mobile application. So any placements I create will show within my placement list and I can see whether they've been verified or rejected.